Hey guys, welcome back to Eternal Ring. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to pick up back in the mines where I probably should have gone in the first place instead of wandering around aimlessly in that forest trying to poke lizard men to death, which I was not very successful at. <coughs> so, I'm going to go back to that area later, and we'll go ahead and do this one today. It's actually been a uh, Maybe a week or so, week and a half, since recording. Of course, you're not going to notice that as far as the upload schedule goes, but, you know, just... Yeah, interesting, I guess. Nope. Oh, that rat dropped something. Let's go ahead and send this thing up. There we go. Got a rat's tail. It's like some very serious music here, like, serious things are happening. Alright. I have the urge to jump, you don't jump in this game. It'd be cool if you did. Alright. So I just got home from work not long ago, and a funny thing happened. Um. As I rode up to my house, uh, me and the neighbor person live pretty close together. They live like, you know, I live in a small neighborhood that's, you know, we're, we're pretty close, you know, not a lot of room between our houses and the neighbors have this tree in their front yard, or I should say had. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a kind of a big tree. But in our particular area of Jackson where we live, there's a lot of older trees that don't have the best root structure. And lo and behold, the damn thing fell over while I was at work, but hey, thank God that it fell when my truck was moved because I parked in front of my house and... Oh. Eh. One shot. Ow. Yeah, I got, I got a few more healing spells now. I don't think I had those last time I was recording. But I got Earth Heal, and I think that might be the only one I didn't have. But, um, yeah, so Entergy, I'm assuming, who came out to fix the light poles and everything that the tree fell on and snagged, you know, it fell on the, uh, the wires and everything. What am I trying to say here? Yeah, you know, you, you know the thing. I'm having a, a Joe Biden moment here. Um, but yeah, uh, they they uh, decided to. Oh, oh wow! They didn't even do a crap. Dirty rats. They saw fit to. I mean, of course, they had to clear the tree out of the road. Understandable, you know, it's got to be done. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they chopped it up. And most of the bigger parts are in my neighbor's yard, but then a lot of the just limbs and leaves and trash and all that is in my front yard. Thanks a lot, Entergy. You know, you, you're already breaking everybody's balls for the year 2022 with hiking, you know, energy costs and stuff. So, <laughs> make a mess in my front yard as well. It's, you know, it's annoying, but I'm honestly not too terribly upset. I'm thankful that my vehicle was moved, for one thing, because, you know, I just, yeah, just got that truck not long ago. I haven't even had it that long, a uh, couple years. And, uh, I'm very thankful that it didn't land on our house or the neighbor's houses or anything. You know, nobody was injured or hurt, so, you know, not much to be all too upset about. There's just a big mess in my front yard that I'm going to have to work on at some point. And I just love yard work, let me tell you. Why would anyone play a god dang video game when you can just mow a lawn? Ow. Why would you do such a thing? You candle-tailed rat. Come here. I don't have any Pokeballs to put you in. Uh-oh! 
trap. You little jerk. I'm gonna start flinging spells to you people here. Take that. Eh. Get. What? What's a fast rat? Where did you go? Nah. There, I get him. Oh, he's stuck. Ah, funny. Trying to get that thing that's shooting magic at me. There we go. Got both of them. Nice. Alright. Yeah, the difficulty definitely seems more balanced in this area. Even the bigger enemies are dying, like, much more quickly than the lizard man did, so, yeah. Obviously, this is where I'm supposed to go. Let me pick this golden flower. Both of them. And funnily enough, I had this feeling like, you know, on the way home, I was like, you know, I'm kind of... I want to stop by Fondren Cellars and get, you know, like, the, what I was really wanting was some Jägermeister to have as a digestive and kind of a nightcap. You know, something that I could drink a small amount of and, you know, that would help with digestion because I've been having some digestive issues at night lately. And that's no fun. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I wanted that. Something I could just kind of drink as a nightcap. But Fonder and Cellars, the liquor store I went to, was out of Jägermeister. They said they had some kind of Jägermeister cold brew and I'm... Um, not really, and it sounds like it'd probably be good, but I didn't really want that. That's, you know, not going to accomplish uh, what I'm setting out to do with an herbal kind of digestive liqueur to help with, you know, digestion and inflammation and stuff like that. But the friendly worker at the liquor store at Fonder and Cellars uh, showed me to some Italian, like, um, kind of like herbal wine, like Amaro, if anybody's ever heard of that. And I decided to try one that's like made with like different herbs and like blueberries and stuff like that. So it's a little sweet, but not like syrupy, like sugary sweet. And it has like a natural, like kind of herby, like bitter aftertaste. That's actually pretty good. Poured myself like just a small glass of it and I'm kind of sipping on that as well because the lunch I ate today um, which was like kind of Asian food, which here lately, I don't know what it is with my stomach, but I'm just having a tough time with everything it seems like. This is, I feel it already kind of helping my digestion a good bit. I can't remember the exact name of the stuff, but it was only like 30 bucks for the bottle. 17 ABV, which isn't bad. It's a little higher for a wine, but you know, if you everything in moderation if you don't just sit there and guzzle it you know it's, you don't have to worry about you know, getting drunk or having a hangover later or anything like that uh, am I go even going the right way or am I going backwards I don't know I haven't I've been talking and haven't been paying attention to where I'm going so this should be interesting oh nope you guys! Oh, that's, that hugs the ground. I can't do anything with that. I would need... Wind Cutter, which... I don't think it matters anymore at this point. Yeah, it's been some days since I recorded, but... Things have been going good. I recently have joined up with the local gym again. It's like a $30 per month membership, which isn't bad for the quality of the gym. There's no contract, and it doesn't take much to make myself really sore because I am so way out of shape. I've really let myself go for the past six years, and, you know, I'm finally just tired of not feeling good and knowing that I could do better. You know, that, I think that's the biggest thing. Like, I'm not crippled. I'm not disabled. 
you know, I've just been a victim of my own laziness, and that needs to change. I, I need to do better. <laughs> Whenever you can do better, I believe you should do better. Whenever you have the capacity to do better. You know, it's just tough to do sometimes. I mean, you know, take it from me. I said, Mah! ow, I'm going to lose this staring contest. Ow, all of that stuff really hurt. Earth heal. Earth heal pretty good. Ow. Sheesh, man. You know what? If I could fly, <laughs> I would fly up to you and poke you just like that. All right. <laughs> I love that death screen there. It's got that silly early PlayStation 2 quality. And that quality is like not much uh, quality control. Alright, um. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, now we're going up. Okay. Nice. Music's a little repetitive, but I like it. Simple synth music. Whoa. Yeah. Lots of angry rats here. Let's see. Don't you run away from me. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I know at least a couple of you guys will get that reference. to now. Oh, going up even higher. Hey, I'm really going up there. I wonder how much further I go. It's been so long since I played this part that I can't remember. Get the gems. Come on, come on. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? There we go. corner, perhaps? No. I bet the fall damage would be really bad if I fell from up here. So, I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> Alright, now what? familiar. We'll save it. I pretty much crafted the rings that I'm going to want for a while, so I'm not terribly worried about making any more. Got some good healing spells, and I mean, I'm going to pretty much rely on wind magic for the majority of the game here. Okay, yeah, this is looking familiar from the last time I played the game. Lava. Making me giggle. Hear the sound of machinery going. Hmm, I guess I take the elevator up. Not entirely sure what to expect up here. Oh. 
Well, hello there. I'm sure you're friendly. I'm content to do this, just so you know. That'll teach you. Hmm. Got these golem guys, but they don't seem to be activated. Hmm. Interesting. Did that ninja looking fellow drop something? He dropped a lava gem. So where does this conveyor belt empty out at? Oh, yeah, that's uh that's inviting. Whoa! I didn't even see you. Level up! Uh do I have the red I think I only have the blue key, right? Or the water key rather. Yeah. That's not gonna work on this. I need a fire key, I'm assuming. Alright. I hear the little Pokemons running around in here. Yeah, everybody just cluster up in a corner so I can try to act like I have good hitboxes. <laughs> ah! How the turntables? Whoa. Oh, great, I'm poisoned. Lovely. Uh. <laughs> that was kind of trippy. Do, do I have anything that will spell poison? Hmm. I don't. That's fun. <laughs> um, which door did I come in through? I think I came in through the other one, maybe. What's in here? Yeah. The main thing I find bothersome is the screen shaking and all like the green stuff. That's what's really bugging me here. Yep. I wonder if I have a... If I crafted like a cure poison kind of thing. I don't think I did. Healing water, no. Nah. Huh, might have to figure out a spell that can actually cure poison, that would be nice. The invasion of Solskia by our Aldinian army ended in failure. Oh, did it? I still can't believe those horrible dragons are the last of the Solsians. Hmm. My body is slowly turning into that of a monster. It's the curse of the Solsians. Or maybe this is the power of the Eternal Ring that the King has been chasing after. I have decided to lock myself in the building to fight against the curse until the very end. If the human part of me can't win, I plan to throw myself into molten steel to keep from turning into a monster. Sounds like a solid plan. If somebody finds this, take heed of my last request. Stop the power from the ring. Sure thing, talking book. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's dead. Oh. Well. That's, that's, that's sad. I didn't think he died. This early. Oh well. I don't think in those boxes it would seem. Okay. Well. Yeah. You just hit me with a slow something. I think you did. It's like I'm walking through freaking a uh, quicksand or something. What? Uh, oh, this is paralysis. So I have items that can help with that. One, a cockatrice feather. Sure, let's eat it. Mmm, yummy. Hmm. 
There was another door I could have gone through here. Let's see. This one. But should I do that yet? Maybe not. I'll see what's the other way first, and then I'll go up that way. Oh, me. Oh, a ninja. It sounds like he's sneezing or something. It's kind of funny. Oh, wow, what was... You disabled my magic! What a jerk. Ow. That's not fair that you can do that. <laughs> Silence me. Or seal or something. Does that work? Yeah, there we go. You jerk. It's not the spell I wanted, but you know. Note to self, do not get hit with that crap. And don't try to face this guy head on, because he he can fight better than me. <laughs> Oh, what? Were you trying to help your friend? I don't approve. Hmm. Magic crystal. For, for a minute, that kind of looked like a churro. Hmm, churros. Whoa, now. Hey. Why would you do such a thing? And everything is inflicting, like... Terrible static damage. Yeah. Jeez Louise! Ow! It like lingers and like hits you a million times. That sucks. Ah! And it goes through the environment. That sucks even worse. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this one damn bit. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh, what's behind door number two, then? More rats. Kind of boring. Ah, that was satisfying. Ugh. Finally, okay. Let's try this again. You bastard. Got me again. Where's the other one? I'm gonna kick your ass once I get to you. There we go. Doesn't look like there's even anything in here worth getting. Just a cheeky little trap. Is that it? It's just a cheeky little trap? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I fell for it. Oh well. That's fine. If nothing else, we've got gems, we've got some experience points. It'll be okay. Sir, I don't like it. And their crap can go through the doors. I don't like that either. Why can't my crap go through the doors? At least I don't think it can. It can! Oh, but they moved. GG, too easy. <laughs> Get that magic churro again. 
some more gems. What's in the box? Ring of Magic. Nice. I also figured out that you don't have to have a Ring of Magic to create a new spell. You just need any ring. So like if you've got a spell you don't necessarily want anymore, you can override that spell with a different one. So that's helpful to know. Alright, looks like that's the extent of that. So let's go back towards the area with the elevator. Uh, let's see. That was through here, I think. Yeah, this way. Okay. Let me not have my back towards the room. Huh. Nothing? Really? This is, uh, this is gonna be a puzzle. I think I can figure it out, though, pretty easily. Alright, all these platforms move, it looks like, so let's do... this. Yeah. Or, wait a minute. That's not necessarily going to do what I want it to do. Ugh. That wasn't very carefully thought out. Darn. Hmm. Well? Okay, it resets. Good, 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 good. Alright. Well, in that case... think about this very carefully. I need to activate that one, and then that one, and then that one, and then that one. Right? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna have to be quick, no matter what I do. Alright, now let's do this. So activate. Crap, you know what? Hmm. I might have just enough time. Maybe. Alright. Cool. Yes, figured it out. Alright. Let's see what that does. Eww. More lava. I wonder if that's a good thing. I'm sure I'll find out. Let's see. for a different part to kick in and it didn't. <laughs> Ooh. Are those dudes activated now? It sounds like it. Jeez. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, what? not trying to do that. Thought I heard one of those golems walking around. Yeah, I was trying to get on the inside of that. Hang on. I have to backtrack now. Lovely.
Okay, let's try that again. Beep. There we go. Now, you can get out by going up this thing. Alright, cool. Provides you a way to escape. Lovely. Whoa! Oh, it's like he's kind of turning things. Huh. What happens if I do this? This guy just trying to do his job, and I'm like poking his ass with a sword. That's not very nice. Seems like something that should affect my character tendency. Even though that's not a thing in this game. Does he die? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just tormenting him. And it's something he can't escape from. He's acting like he's taking damage. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not. But you know what? Uh... Out of charge. Ooh, that did it. Okay. I stopped him from turning. <laughs> so now what happens? Oh, it looks like the conveyor belt stopped. Hmm. Interesting. So where would I go now? Maybe... Hop down? Ow. Let's see, I opened up a thing and more lava came out, but... Anything else happen? A waterfall gem that I didn't get before. Oh, more stuff I didn't get before. Like, ooh, piece of candy. Hmm. Hmm. What do I do now? Hmm. This goes back out that way. I don't think I want to leave yet. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Ah! Fire key. So that's what I had to do. Okay. Derp. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to save it. finally found the fire key. And you know what? That's probably going to be a good place to call it as well. Yeah. I've been recording long enough, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with the next part of Eternal Ring. Until then, y'all take care.